We have about 2,000 non-native species in Britain, and about 15% of those are ones that we consider to be invasive non-native species. And when they arrive, they cause some kind of problem to biodiversity, ecosystems, society or the economy. We have an inspiring community of people across the country who really are passionate about wildlife. And it's just amazing how people do get involved and their interest in the subject. Volunteers are involved in early warning and surveillance for species such as the Asian hornet, but they might be involved also in terms of long term surveys around species such as, for example, the harlequin ladybird. It's what they see, when they see it, where they see it. Providing us with that kind of information allows us to build up these huge, large-scale, long-term databases. We're beginning to look at whether we can use some of the image recognition technology so that we can get through some of these records much more quickly. Every year, we provide the trends in invasive non-native species to show how that's changing over time. And we wouldn't be able to do that if we didn't have contributions from people all across the country. There is no sign of slowing in terms of the numbers of non-native species arriving. I really think that while collaboration at a global level is extremely important, local action on the ground is also important. It's really exciting to be part of a community that's sharing information all across Europe and beyond because these species don't recognise borders and we need to ensure that we're communicating very widely and sharing information such that we can all benefit from these systems.